What's poppin' tribe? Sage. This y'all weekly message. Oh, Shefflin. First card y'all got out is look inside yourself. But we're getting to that. <clears throat> it's 8.04 on the clock. Equals up to 4.44. You might be seeing a lot of fours this week. And we got I Got the Juice by Meek Mills. So you got the sauce. You got the juice, you got the sauce, you got everything that you need. You making boss moves. You've been doing some soul searching. You've been learning yourself, maybe learning new skills. But you've been putting more work on your, into yourself. Doing some self-love, some self-healing. You have realized that you've been surrounded by some snakes. So... You cutting your losses with these snakes and you realizing that you need to fall back a little bit. Check out your surrounding. Look at the parameter. Check your circles. Evaluate who you got in your circle. Who's for you and who's against you. Well, let's cry. So this card reads, look inside yourself. So the answers that you're searching for are already within you. You have all the answers that you need. Examine what is causing you to feel a certain way. Evaluate. So search, like I already said. If it's something that's making you unhappy, something that you're questioning, go within. And make a determination. <clears throat> See what the bigger picture is. See what the universe is trying to tell you. It says the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. You see, you already have the tools within. You already have everything that you need within. And then that fell on 8. And I said it was 8 or 4 on the clock. So, 4, 4, 4. Significant. So, it's something that you're walking away from. Something that you're releasing. Something that you are surrendering. Something that no longer serves you. And you are making the necessary decisions to walk away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. 808 on the clock. Eights are very significant. Fours and eights. Eights is equal to four. Four is stability. Eight is forward movement. So maybe you have a forward movement in a certain direction that you've been pondering on. This is the message to let you know. Follow your gut. Follow your intuition. You know what you need to do. Let's see what y'all got going on this week, Sage. I told you, look, I can't make it up. First card out, death card. You putting an end in the suffering. You're releasing unnecessary things. People placing the things that no longer serve you. Situation, circumstances, you, you're purging, you're doing a release. You're cleansing yourself, you're cleansing your energy. You're going within, meditating more. You're no longer resisting change. But you are feeling in prison. You're feeling like you don't have enough, you doubt in yourself. Stop doubting yourself, Sag. You got this. You're keeping yourself mentally trapped about something or someone that you need to let go of. Someone or something that causes conflict. 
arguments, fights. You need to release somebody that you're holding on to. Release something that you're holding on to too tight. That's no longer serving you. You got the magician and the king of coins together. So you're trying to manifest some abundance. You're trying to go in a new direction. Working on your money. Working on your funds, your finances. Your stability. You are trying to secure the bag. You're trying to manifest that infinity. And look at this card here. You see, you got that eight. You got that eight right there. Your abundance is coming in. Forward movement and abundance is coming in. <clears throat> Security. You won't have to be working so hard. Invest in yourself, believe in yourself, believe in the journey. Have faith that you're going in the right direction. Faith in the substance of things, hope for evidence of things not seen. You are going in the right direction. You are moving forward fast. You're no longer scared to take the necessary action. You're no longer scared to go in a new direction. You're no longer in your head. You've been fighting against yourself. All in your mind. Not thinking clearly. You're not advising yourself of good, good information. You're creating doubt. You need to realize that positive thoughts bring positive results. And there's that eight again, eight of wands. So you've been stopping yourself from moving forward. But you are moving forward quickly now because you are moving out of your head. You have released the things that you need to release and now you have forward movement and you're going forward fast. And there's that stability for a wise. So you are creating your stability. You are moving towards more abundance. Your money getting right. Creating that stability in your household, the structure, vehicle. You're no longer obsessing over this. You're no longer overthinking it, overanalyzing it. You're no longer being codependent on anyone else. You're dependent on yourself. In God, we in God I trust. You trusting in yourself. We got in God I trust by Kevin Gates. Kevin Gates is Aquarius, so you are realizing that. Some things you need to walk away from in order for you to get these new manifest in order for you to get these new manifestations to come in towards you. You've been being stuck and not knowing which way to walk away from. And see this is the eight here and the eight here, eight there. Eight, eight, eight. So you've been on a grind. A star. You've been doing some healing, some inner work. You do have an opportunity coming. That's going to balance out the skills. So you are realizing that it's time to move forward. Heal yourself. And the skills will be balanced. You are taking a risk. A journey in a new direction. Or you could be dealing with Aries. But you are... Having the courage to move forward after getting out of your head. You've been tormenting yourself, overthinking, overanalyzing about this structure, doubting yourself, hindering your own growth. You've been hiding from yourself, hiding from your true beliefs. Look, we got ten of coins, queen of coins, and two of coins. So you're definitely trying to make a decision and that's the king and the queen of coins so you could be dealing with somebody that's an earth sign that you were ready to build with because we got the ten of coins so y'all both got the money you are is a 
This is another card that has an eight in there. See that eight? That eight. So you have this opportunity. You can go one way. One way is love. One way is money. But with this ten of coins, you get everything. The family. The good living. The prosperity. The growth. Family. Legacy. Security. That will last. Yeah. Two of Cups. Reconciliation. You coming with some you coming together with somebody that's like minded. That's your nine of cups. Could definitely be a fire sign or this is you. You getting your wish fulfillment. You ready for somebody to come towards you or somebody's coming towards you. Because they're attracted to you and they want to offer you a stable offer. You intuitively feel this person coming towards you. Maybe you've had a dream about this person coming towards you. It's coming towards you fast and unexpectedly. I Want to Love You by Donnell Jones. Donnell Jones is a Gemini. Could be a Gemini. But you are, and as I say, Gemini lovers. And they fell right under the Two of Cups. So this is a reconciliation with a lover. Or Aries. Then you got the fool card over here. So this is definitely. Yep. And then this is your justice. And then we got six of wands at the bottom. Six of wands. Justice. And the emperor. This is your balance in love. And in money. So get ready to be celebrating. Saggy baby. Thank y'all for my new subscribers. Thank y'all for rocking with me. Thank y'all for booking. If y'all need any information, it's down below. <sighs> tender Force. I mean, Tender Love Force MDs. Mr. Ron, Drake, Scorpio. Leo, Leo, Taurus, Pisces, number four, didn't I tell you four is it significant? Libra and number 11, so maybe by 411 or 114. 114 could be somebody's birthday or 411. Anywho, this is y'all weekly message. Thank y'all for rocking with me, Sages. Appreciate the love. Y'all be safe.